I gotta tell you, having been an entrepreneur for six years, I will not go through the rest of my life without taking smart drugs. Aniracetam, Paracetam, Uridine, Monophosphate, Alcar, CDP, Choline. You can always have a better brain. The Cortex Nootropics Podcast is about to begin. Boom! Episode 13 of the Cortex Nootropics and Biohacking Podcast. What's up, everybody? It's been a while. We've been doing a lot of content, a lot of video content. A lot of long-form blog posts, too, on livecortex.com slash blog. We're really trying to make that the most comprehensive blog on the planet for nootropics, smart drugs, biohacking, a little bit of entrepreneurship, uh, and uh, whatever else we might find in between. So check it out at livecortex.com slash blog. Subscribe to the content because we put out some interesting content around nootropics, uh, smart drugs, performance enhancement, biohacking, these sorts of things. And uh, um, the blog is growing fast, and a lot of people are are into the content we're putting out, so check it out at livecortex.com slash blog. Uh, Quick plug for the Cortex product. We've had an incredible couple weeks for the Cortex product, Uh, and and that's because I think people are are, are now starting, you know, the the product's been out for a year. Uh, There there are a lot of reviews out there uh, on the web uh, about it, most of them on our site where people can come and and post. a couple fake reviews out there from competitors that, that that happens, but it, it's no, there's no question when people try the Cortex Nootropic stack and, and get incredible brain function for five to seven hours, like, and they're like, you know, I didn't, I didn't want to take my Bidafinil today, nor do I want to take it tomorrow or ever, uh, because of this product, uh, you know, and you, you start convincing people. So secure a bottle of the Cortex Nootropic stack. Uh, it's packed with uridine and CDP choline, a total neural activator, to- total neuro- uh, neurite outgrowth uh, facilitator that, that's uh, promoting the growth of, of axons and dendrites from neuron uh, to neuron. Also, uh, healthfully builds phosphatidylcholine, pretty critical for uh, membrane fluidity and functionality. Secure bottle at livecortex.com of what's being called the only pre-made stack that works, the Cortex Nootropic stack, livecortex.com. All right, so... In uh, our, you know, in our move toward focusing more on biohacking, um, uh, well, it really just the addition of biohacking and entrepreneurship and a couple of things to 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 a previously primarily exclusively nootropics content platform. Uh, I I want to just talk about how some of the major uh, strategies for treating particular ailments are uh, either either are directly or indirectly frowned upon by the medical establishment, uh, by people who think they're smart and, you know, they've just been conditioned by academia to believe every study that they read. You know, they're just very, very uh, myopic and linear about uh, things and or dogmatic, etc. And, uh, you know, and so as a good example, uh, you know, I, I, I let, me, let me just take like one person, for example. I, I know somebody who's been, who's been battling a debilitating disease for about four years. The medical community has not been able to do much for him whatsoever. Um, you know, they've given him some drugs and, and, and they've helped marginally with symptoms. You know, if you know what marginally means, it means that it really hasn't helped with, with their symptoms. So, uh, and, you know, I mean, this person, as a result, life has fallen apart. They lost their job. Uh, they're in a battle for custody over their kids right now, which, uh, you know, I don't know. I The guy thinks he's going to lose because he doesn't have great health and he can't even think to function to, to perform well in the, in the custody battle and in, in, in court. And so it's this long drawn out process where his life has essentially been ruined by this debilitating disease that the medical establishment not only can't do anything for him about, but actively tries to discourage him from doing other things. I mean, they're like, you know, like he, he has suggested the notion of, uh, uh, functional, you know, functional medicine and or nat- you know nat- naturopathic cures or, or or ways of treating this issue, and I mean these doctors just keep shrugging him off, and so finally he took it into his own hands, and he started legit chewing raw garlic cloves and and swallowing them throughout the day. Something that I've taken up recently too, um, you know, as a means of detoxification and trying to help me continue on my healing from uh, you know, chronic chronic fatigue, chronic fatigue syndrome induced by Epstein Barr virus. You know, mono gone awry and lasting two years almost. Uh, it happened in 2015, and uh, and guess what? The dude's symptoms 
I mean, the first day he felt remarkably better, and he's you know he's been doing it for about two weeks now. He's got to stay consistent with it, or he or he feels the symptoms start, sort of starting to creep back in. But the guy's symptoms have almost completely subsided. Brain functions awesome. He's back on it. He's now hunting for a job again. He's like, I'm, I I I have my life back. I was a legit zombie before this, and so I think you know. You know, I posted something on Facebook recently, which was like, um, discourage people, imply that cures for particular ailments do not exist, Uh, you know, pull out expensive time slots on uh, traditional media platforms with comfortable commercials to promote drugs, Uh, work with doctors and, you know, with financial incentives for them to sell your drugs, Uh, you know, uh, in conjunction with pharmaceutical companies, doctors, uh, keep a recurrent follow-up schedule to basically keep you coming in uh, to keep the insurance that you have paying them money. Um, uh, on and on and on and on. Here is the, you know, I just gave you the strategy for, for big pharma and the medical establishment, you know. Um, and again, I'm not one of those people that's like the medical establishment is terrible and it's, it's not useful. It's very useful. I just think, you know, lar- largely it should be replaced with functional medicine, which is where you do what we all intuitively know we should do, which is find the root cause of a problem rather than treat a symptom. Um, and not fix a problem and let a problem prolifer- pro- pro- proliferate afterwards. But here this guy is chewing garlic cloves, which is a, a powerful, powerful biofilm buster and natural antibiotic. It's, you know, it, it's breaking, it's likely breaking, and he's probably got an underlying bacterial inf- uh, infection that no one has been able to identify, that, that antibiotics have not been able to kill because they, you know, the, some of these infections develop strong, strong resistance to antibiotics, like with biofilms, this outer layer of, uh, it's like a, you know, a gel-like substance that protects the bacteria from, uh, from antibiotics. Uh, garlic is very potent at doing that. And, and what, what seems to be the case here, and these, these are the kind of things that make the medical establishment hard to put all of your trust in, where the establishment itself, through their research or, or, or through how, I guess, bureaucratic it is and long it takes for studies to get published and what their rigorous standards are, et cetera, like haven't been able to identify that, the, that one of the particular, particular underlying functions that have gone wrong or underlying causes to this particular disease that this person has been dealing with, um, you know, is, is some sort of rogue bacterial infection that, that, that isn't, hasn't been able to, to, to be identified yet and, and isn't remediable via, you know, traditional pharmaceutical interventions. So this guy had to legit, you know, go to nature and, and take one of the most powerful natural antibiotics that also detoxifies the liver at the same time. So, I mean, who knows what was happening? It could have been some sort of gram negative bacteria that was producing uh, lipopolysaccharides, which are these like little pieces of it that get, get out into your bloodstream and cause inflammation and, you know, a bunch of other things that could, you know, easily be the case. And now, uh, you know, he's, he's, he's fixing it. Um, with with killing the bacteria and detoxifying a system all at the same time but you know if you if you if you sit if you sit that story down with somebody who is uh, just a, a heavy proponent of the of, of the medical industry to the exclusion of any any other natural cure or functional medicine or natural uh, you know naturopathic remedy or something and try to explain that to them that you know they're likely to, they're likely to attribute the success of this guy's uh, you know treating his disease and, and making and giving him his energy and life back to like placebo or something. This is how they think and this is how they are. So that that's the primary thing that I want to get across. I think you have to know as as a biohacker. I think this is I mean, one of the things that makes biohackers aliens. We talked about that recently on a thing called biohackers are aliens on our YouTube channel, Cortex YouTube channel. You should watch that video is that biohackers do not, and this is the thing that I think everybody has to do, we, 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 we do not accept no for an answer, okay? If there's a problem you know, that's underlying some sort of major disease and it's manifesting a bunch of symptoms and it's getting in the way of our lives, there's a reason or there's reasons, okay? And, 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 and we have to figure them out and we are not going to exclusively rely on the medical community to fix problems. We're not. What? So they can give us a symptom mitigating drug that eventually cause another disease down the line, but worse yet, won't fix the problem. More importantly, won't fix your problem. So then it's going to proliferate and get out of control and get worse over time. You know, then you get, and then you're talking about having chronic diseases and all these other, you know, major diseases that end up, you know, maybe what you've got now isn't fatal, but maybe it could be because you're not really treating it. Of course not. We're not going to wait around for that. Neither should you and neither should anybody. You know, neither should anybody. 
you shouldn't wait around for the medical establishment to fix uh, a problem that they're they're not just just not going to fix, and that's that's ailing you and messing with your life. And so, I just think it's a you know it's a little bit of a shame that uh, folks do discourage you know, whether your your doctor because I mean this happens in a lot of cases you know your your doctor or um, uh, well I guess well intentioned friends that just are sort of dogmatic discourage you from going and doing those things right you got a particular ailment that uh, you know you know is, is taking place here and you're trying to fix it with all these different things that you're that you're in, that you're learning about from nature and or whatever you might be doing uh, you know and your friends are like well what what did, what did your doctor say what did your doctor say yeah the doctor couldn't do anything they wanted to give me something that would you know cause osteoporosis process down the line, like in the case of GERD and, and proton pump inhibitors, and then shuts down stomach acid. And, and, and if the problem is related to a bacterial overgrowth in the small intestine, only makes that problem worse. Like the doctor is not the answer. And I'm convinced that Western medicine, in a lot of cases, is part of the problem. So um, I just want to encourage people to, uh, you know, continue down that path. Um, you know, if you're kind of into biohacking, or you've got a particular ailment that you haven't been able to fix that the medical establishment has not been able to fix i want to encourage you to uh keep trying and 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 you know know that like it could be a two-week colon cleanse that 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 fixes you i mean legit it could be a coffee enema that fixes you right it's known to boost glutathione um you know and 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 help your body to detoxify your colon and your liver uh pretty considerably i mean that that's not in my opinion it's pretty objective so it's not far-fetched to assume that 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 might be helpful in some situations or it's colonic irrigation which seemed to be pretty helpful for very many people for lots of diseases i mean look we hear about stuff where somebody has a, a disease for a long time medical establishment cannot help them you know, they do something like a colonic for two weeks or like a salt, salt flushes through the small and large bowel, uh, and then they expel for two, three hours. They do it, you know, every day for two weeks, and they're better. <laughs> they're better, and, and the disease doesn't come back. What, why? Why did that happen, you know? And that's it. That is the essence of biohacking, I think, in my opinion, is uh, just not taking no for an answer. If you're trying to reach a particular outcome and the traditional system cannot help you to reach that outcome, you know, it's about you taking it into your own hands, doing whatever it is you have to do, doing hardcore experimentation to reach that outcome. If you have not tried the Cortex Nootropic Stack, got to plug Cortex again because it's so powerful. A lot of people talking a lot of good stuff about it. Secure bottle at livecortex.com. That's livecortex.com for what's being called the only pre-made stack that works used by Wall Street executives, business executives all around the world. We now sell the product in seven countries. We're in Canada, the United States, the UK, Australia, Sweden, Brazil, um, and uh, yeah, I mean Ireland. I think mean, Ireland's part of the UK, but um, and you know, many, many more countries. No, oh, yes, we, did we do? Uh, no, there's another. There's, oh, Iceland, perhaps. I, I forget. We're, we're looking to basically try to expand everywhere, uh, even trying to make it into China if we can. LiveCortex.com for. Uh, to secure a bottle of the uh, Cortex Nootropic Stack. Just a note for some of you guys that are thinking about this, uh, that tried the stack like the stack and sort of wondering, because I like to keep people clued in on what's happening with the company. We're, we're in the process of trying to obviously continue building, but the, the, the target is to build more stacks. And we've got a couple more stacks that, that, are, that are tried and true that I have used, that I know work, that I've got people beta testing and that are powerful for inducing good brain function for considerable periods of time and, and thus helping people's productivity. Uh, we're going to be putting those stacks out. Also in the future, you know, around the sort of expansion into biohacking and all these other things, uh, and my passion for, I wouldn't say functional medicine, but I'd say you know people taking health into their own hands and trying to find the sort of functional root problems of what's happening and then correcting them. Uh, you know, we're going to be building some stacks that are unrelated to nootropics, but, but just stacks related to, to fixing particular ailments. We're going to be building stacks, you know, uh, a targeting uh, acid reflux. We're going to be building sta- stacks targeting uh, energy in other ways, you know, targeting chronic fatigue syndrome and targeting a bunch of other stuff. And so more to come on that. All that's going to take a very long time building company and building a pro you know building a good supplement company with good quality products takes a long time um and that's what we're about here and uh, some more to come on that thanks so much for watching check us out on youtube just youtube search the cortex nootropics channel nootropics and smart drugs channel check us out we've got incredible videos on uh, nootropics biohacking and everything else you can think of in between check us out on the web at livecortex.com and again the blog livecortex.com slash blog 
We are putting out long form, very powerful, very useful information about nootropics, biohacking, entrepreneurship, and everything else in between. Pick up a bottle live of live cortex.com. Thanks for listening.